In the world of circles, there are very few things as good as pre-workout. You know, we started, we've worked on 2.0 for over 10 years now, and we started designing this one actually right after Cookbook 2 in 2009. Um, we were busy with the Turkesterone. Uh, While making this video, I discovered I don't know the exact date Greg Doucette's pre-workout became publicly available. The earliest date for htltsubs.com on Wayback Machine is August 1st, 2021. But when you click to go to the pre-workout page, that page is from July 20th, 2021. And then I realized, I don't know precisely when Greg started selling supplements. In fact, the page from July 20th, 2021 is for pre-ordering the product. The earliest page of a live available to the public pre-workout was on October 22nd, 2021. So it was released somewhere between these two dates. Anyway, I bought one tub of Greg's pre-workout in its only available flavor, Pink Candy Blast on February 28th, 2022. It came in, I used it, my dad used it, we used it for months, comparing it to several other pre-workouts. I don't like the label, I like the taste, I don't like the price, I like the pump, I don't like the lack of Kana, the focus was still pretty okay. Overall, pretty good. I'd give it a slightly worse than Gorilla Mode out of 10. If you want something similar to it, huge supplements. Wrecked is very close and Raw Sebum Thabbage is the second closest from what I've tried. I can't really recommend this pre-workout because of the price to how I like it ratio. It is slightly more expensive than Gorilla Mode if you get Gorilla Mode on sale and then that pre-workout never went on sale. Even huge wrecked is often cheaper. But none of that matters because you can't even buy this product. It's discontinued because the sequel came out. Pre-workout 2.0. Finally. Don't like beta alanine? No, it's not in there anymore. In the middle of like beta alanine? It's still in there. It's got a little something for everyone. A non-existent fruit. Purple. Acid that burns your tongue. That's all great and all, but isn't an improvement on the first installment? Well, yeah, it's got better balls, graphics, it makes your better gameplay, bigger. but seriously, it's a better product. And this time around, I actually have an easier time recommending it, especially over the original. So for some reason, the page for pre-workout 2.0 does not have the supplement facts on it. As of this video, at least, it had the supplement facts on there before, and that's somewhat concerning. It's a lack of transparency, but it's also likely a error because the pre-pump pre-workout actually has its supplement facts on the page. So since I have the tub in hand, here's the supplement facts. I'm actually just gonna flash a high quality picture on the screen with the supplement facts on it so you can see it um, because it's not on the website. So there you go. This is the no itch version. It is the grape candy flavor. This version, the no beta alanine version is actually exactly the same ingredient wise as the itch version with beta alanine, except for the fact that there's no beta alanine in it. So all of the um, doses of each ingredient are exactly the same. I think the itch version has 1,500 milligrams of beta alanine per scoop, something around there, 1,200 milligrams of beta alanine per scoop. And looking at the supplement facts, the ingredients are almost like exactly what you'd expect from a premium pre-workout. As in the premium pre-workout products of today don't really have much differences from each other. Um, they're almost all the same. <laughs> um, however, there, there are marginal differences and I think that boils down to genetic response. But the most obvious difference between pre-workout 2.0 and the rest of the pre-workouts on the market is its scoop system. It has a smaller scoop than the rest of the pre-workouts uh, showing a one scoop serving, a two scoop serving, and a three scoop serving. The scoop size for the no Witch version is 7.2 grams. That is technically slightly more than half a scoop of Gorilla Mode if you ignore the creatine contents in Gorilla Mode. A full serving is three scoops, which I've tried several times, specifically on deadlift days when I wanted a PR. And a word of warning, the three scoop days were not that great for me because I would always get a headache from it. 
Um, I was probably just overstimulated from the ingredients. It happened. I have responded that way to other pre-workouts. Wrecked. A full 30 gram scoop of Wrecked has done that to me many times. So it's not just a HTLT pre-workout thing. Two scoops didn't give me a headache. Two scoops felt pretty good. However, I usually used one and a half scoops because it's about equivalent to Gorilla Mode at that dose, specifically one scoop of Gorilla Mode. So to make it easier, I've actually made a supplement facts label for uh, one and a half scoops of HTLT pre-workout 2.0 for a apples to apples comparison to Gorilla Mode. Once you treat both of these products as 40 serving products, because there would be 40 servings of one and a half scoops in HTLT pre-workout 2.0, they have minimal differences. And then I'll also add 2,500 milligrams of creatine to the HTLT pre-workout 2.0 supplement facts, just for the sake of comparison, like a what if. Now they're almost the exact same amount of grams per serving. The products are pretty much the same when you compare them like this. The biggest differences are the swap of glycer pump for nitrosigine and Kana for alpha GPC. In the real world, because of these ingredient similarities, uh, these products felt pretty much the same. The focus was not much different. The pump was not much different, if not exactly the same. And Greg's product tasted slightly better, and that's apparently because of the lack of Kana. Gorilla Mind athletes have often described the Kana taste as the Gorilla Mode taste, and that is because of the hard to mask plant taste of Kana. I have gone through this specifically with Gorilla Mode Energy, which is like the G Fuel Focus competitor. I'll throw up a picture. Cause that stuff is mostly Kana and it just tastes like plants. My dad hates drinking that stuff. So I'm the only one who drinks it. <laughs> In my own use, I felt like Gorilla Mode made me feel more dialed in, more focused, but that's probably because of the bias I have for Gorilla Mode. Um, I've been a fan of Gorilla Mind products for a while. It started with like the fat burners um, and now I'm just a huge fan of Gorilla Mode. So closing thoughts, I've liked HTLT pre-workout 2.0 more than everything else that I've compared it to. I've liked it way more than the first HTLT pre-workout, which you can't even get anyway, except for Gorilla Mode. Facing the ingredient comparison between Gorilla Mode and HTLT pre-workout 2.0, they're pretty similar products. I would rate it on par with Gorilla Mode also an eight out of 10. The only thing that would drive me away is the price of HTLT, but during the holidays, including a 10% coupon, some of the variations went down to $35 a tub, and then you just have to pay for shipping. Unfortunately, HTLT does not do free shipping, which is not competitive with uh, Gorilla Mind or huge supplements. If you do wanna support me and get 10% off for yourself, please use code ZORK. This gives me some amount of kickback, a good amount of you have used it. Thank you very much for using my code. It's been funding me <laughs> along my journey to try some products and I really appreciate it. If you like Gorilla Mode, you'll like this pre-workout and it has a beta alanine version. So if you like beta alanine, you could probably just buy the beta alanine version of this and you might even like it better than Gorilla Mode. Gorilla Mode going on sale, a tub of Gorilla Mode goes down to about $38 and then the lowest of some variations for pre-workout 2.0 has been $35. Um, and that's all including the 10% coupon codes for Gorilla Mind or HTLT. At that point, it's just which brand do you like better or which flavor do you like better? The taste of HTLT has been better than Gorilla Mode for me. And that's probably just cause there's no Kana in it. So eight out of 10 on par with Gorilla Mode. Please subscribe. My goal is a thousand subscribers. More videos soon. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day or night and choose.